What is up guys? Welcome to the Boosted Lucky YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name's Lucky. I have a 426 Stroker Hellcat, which is what we're going to be talking about today. And, and we'll go ahead and hop right into it, you know what I'm saying? So today I wanted to speak to y'all on what the experience has been like building a 426 Hellcat and you know what the state of the car is right now. So um, hopping straight into it, man. I got the car. Um, I think it was back in January of 2021. Yeah, they got a little button thing on the that'll go over it to hold it down. Yeah. Man, this thing looks good. I uh, flew all the way out to, um, I think it was a. Uh, what was it greenland or something like that north carolina um and i you know bought the car drove it all the way back here to texas and immediately you know the day after when i got a mid muffler delete car was going stupid was having you know a blast everybody else was you know eating it up and we had a lot of fun i never thought that i would get to this point with having a 426 stroker hellcat um and i guarantee you a lot of the people uh, watching my videos didn't think that i would get this far either but you know here we are and we're knocking on the door of you know getting i'm not gonna lie i want to have the fastest street you know hellcat just period I don't give a damn who else got it. Um, I'm coming for it, and that's what I'm working for. Uh, but straight up, um, you know, this process has been a long and taxing one. I just turned 24. Uh, my birthday was September 27th, and you know, I appreciate everybody for all the birthday wishes and stuff like that. You know, everybody that's commented on the Instagram and stuff. Um, yeah, being 24, man, and going through this whole process and and trying to learn and still have fun with the cars and stuff. Um, if, for those who don't know, the Hellcat is my daily driver and I would not recommend this to anybody to mod modify their daily, you know, as far as I have. But um, I had added a uh, Ripitune lower to the car and some JBA Catalyst mid pipes and it had a mini muffler delete and that was it. Um, after that, you know, that first round of mods, I noticed that Hellcats get really hot really fast and they don't have enough cooling capacity, you know, in the cars from factory. You know, we went into adding an ice tank, a B Witty heat exchanger, and um, after that, you know, I was just out there icing the car down, having fun with it, being, you know, how it was. The car was shooting, the car was shooting a bunch of flames and stuff, and we got, you know, to that point. Then I took the car to the track, started trying to race it there, and ended up, you know, cracking the the drive shaft and the differential, and you know that wasn't fun. Even after I put a four inch drive shaft in there, I think if that's what it is, a four inch or five inch, you know, uh, DSS drive shaft, it still broke that and it still messed up the diff. So I went ahead and I added a, you know, performance, you know, diff brace off on there. From there, at that point, the car was just kind of, you know tapped out then i went ahead and added on um an upper and lower pulley um we went ahead and went with a grip tech upper pulley and ati 10 percent lower pulley um i got a dual pump fuel system added some injectors and then we got it tuned by team hellcat and the car was absolutely flying man like you know we went and did some more revisions here and there and the car was just out here smacking people left and right 
and it was fun you know we had a, a blast with that but um then i got tired of that and i went to go ahead and port the supercharger we teamed up with kong performance and we got that done we had a 108 millimeter throttle body we added uh blower, blower spacer plates and you know that was pretty much it we just added a ported blower at that point in time in the throttle body um and the car made some really good power and it made a lot of steam um and i was very impressed with it but what had different plans was this radiator hose i made a little compilation just a little while ago showing everybody you know where the motor and everything had like you know where all the problems came from and the biggest thing was the factory radiator hose got into the belt tensioner for the supercharger and it rubbed the hole through it um that was like a freak thing i've had other people tell me that the same thing has happened to them where that mesh braided mesh stuff that there's braided mesh that will go over this it got you know frizzled up or whatever and it got frayed up and it ended up pulling that hose into the pulley and lost all my coolant and that's when all the problems started um so i ended up doing a pull car got really hot and you know chipped the piston because the uh, piston ring got really you know really tight um and that was pretty much it for the motor so it chipped the piston it wasn't like the motor grenaded itself and it was still driving i was driving the car for like a month with it still being blown up because i had to get to and from work um and the car thugged it out and it made it but you know now we got a 426 so what we have in the car is a mmx 426 with a billet crank pistons rods uh a demon performance camshaft um texas speed long tube headers rip coil packs conk performance ported supercharger full max effort porting on that upper lower dual pump e85 injectors and that's pretty much it you know uh spark plugs and you know just like the other little supporting mods here and there but that's really it it's just a full bolt-on 426 stroker hellcat and it's been out here running like crazy but i think i got a little too comfortable where i should have been checking my oil a lot more and this is where we're getting into the issues that i i, I ran into um recently and while the car is away um i didn't stay on top of the oil as much as i was supposed to being that i daily drive this car and i race it like crazy on the weekends and being that um the car caught a misfire in the middle of one of my runs with my homeboy and um we had to stop racing and i went you know i turned the car off turned it back on it didn't have any issues didn't you know do nothing weird it was fine but then um basically i burnt the last you know bit of oil before the car started getting re really really low on oil and i went out there and i did a test hit and the car just started flashing low oil and it started shutting off and that was it turn it back on started hearing some clicking noises and stuff and that's just where we are right now um pretty confident that it's probably just a lifter that lost oil pressure and got you know messed up um i already pulled the valve cover off looked at all the rocker arms um pulled you know some spark plugs did compression test on it car has great compression the, the car got low on oil so you know it, i'm pretty sure it burned through most of it because the car has even when i had it from factory it was kind of burning some oil here and there like i could you know smell it and when i would go check my oil level oil would be kind of low um and that was even on the factory motor so being that the car now has a 426 it's generating a lot of blow by you know it's burning through a lot more oil you know here and there not like a crazy significant amount but for the amount of driving and racing that I do on it, um, I'm really supposed to be really on top of the oil and I wasn't. And that's why, you know, I'm not blaming nobody else for this. This wasn't no tuning issue. This wasn't, you know, none of that. This was just a maintenance thing and this was on me. And I definitely have learned my lesson. Um, so all that, you know, I have to do now is take apart, you know, we gotta take the heads off, um, send maybe send them out to go get ported by the boys over at Texas Speed add some more little mods here and there refine some things and just make the car just you know more efficient overall and i'm really excited for all of that and i hope everybody else is too but that's pretty much you know what's going on with the car 
Um, as far as my experience with it, man, I love having the 426. You know, it is a very torquey, you know, awesome motor. It makes great power. Um, the car is only on 16 pounds of boost because it's such a big motor that it's literally pulling, it's, it's scavenging all that air out of the blower before it can really compress it and make boost. So we do need a bigger supercharger. So for the time being, I would like to go Whipple, uh, but I think we're gonna stay on the stock blower for a little bit and see what more we can do. But, and the, and the end goal guys is to go twin turbo on the Hellcat, but that's not something that I'm about to do like, you know, at this point in time, um, I got stuff here that I can, you know, piece together to make all that work. And I'll be trying to do that here in the background and stuff. But um, just overall, I'm really impressed with, you know, my team and, and the group of guys that have rallied around me to help me out and to get me to where I'm at now. Um, companies, friends, family, and especially all you guys, all the support, it means a ton. And I'm just, you know, really excited and really blessed. Um, but I just, I know I haven't made a YouTube video. I needed to put something out there, let you guys know, number one, how I'm loving the 426, what's going on with the car, how it's been performing. It's been performing amazing. Um, and pretty much where I'm at with the car and stuff, you know, a lot has been going on. I've been busting my ass working um, and trying to do a lot of stuff to bring you guys, you know, more awesome content and more awesome things to the channel. Uh, my main focus right now is getting a truck um, so I want a tow pig and a trailer so we can take the car, you know, worldwide and go out there to the drag and drive events and just be able to, you know, not really worry about a lot of stuff. Um, and, you know, just have fun. So, you know, that's what I'm really working on. Um, that's where I'm at mentally. And, you know, I just, like I said, I'm going to keep pushing and hopefully this isn't anything, you know, super significant. Like I said, we're pretty sure we know what it is. Um, and I'll just give you guys an update once the car is back in my hands and you know, we're, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I would do this all here at my house, but you, as you guys can see, my garage is completely full of stuff and I can't really do much here. So just going to bite the bullet on this one, leave it up there. Um, try to drive up there and see what's going on with it, you know, over the, over the next week and um just fill everybody in on instagram and TikTok. you know that's usually where i post stuff first and then i'll bring everything over to here for you guys so um like i said man i'm excited and i can't wait to show you guys what's coming next for the car um stay tuned this has been boosted lucky and i'll catch you guys on the next upload